All right, guys, welcome to my channel and to my very first Let's Play series. We're going to be playing Kenna, or uh, I guess it's Kena Bridge of Spirits. Ember Labs did a, a like a PSA on their Twitter account at some point that's saying that her name is actually pronounced Kena. So it's Kena Bridge of Spirits. Um, I know I'm super late to recording this. It's The game's been out for like a month at this point. Um, but like I said, this is my first Let's Play series, and I've been looking forward to this game for a long time. Uh, I'm definitely a fan of like the Zelda series games and Horizon Zero Dawn and games like that and I think this game took a lot of inspiration especially from the Zelda series so really looking forward to playing it um a couple notes before we get started here I am I'm gonna play this on PC so I know most of you most people are playing this on PS4 or PS5 uh, and a lot of people probably aren't even aware that it's available on PC uh, and I guess we can use the excuse uh, that I'm only recording it now because it did have some glitches on PC at first. So we're up to version 1.10 here, you see in the bottom right. And supposedly a lot of the PC issues have been solved. I guess we're going to find out about that. Um, so I'm playing on PC. We're on version 1.10. If my movement mechanics look a little bit different than what you're expecting, it's probably because I'm on PC with keyboard and mouse. Uh, I'm going to record and play in 1440p, and um, I'm going to keep my MSI afterburner, so like my GPU and CPU specs down here for anybody that wants to see like how a, a PC can handle this, and I'll put all my PC specs in the description of the videos. Um, if, if you're interested in that, I'll just say right now I'm on a GTX 1080, so I'm not on like a super new graphics card. As you guys know, it's super hard to get those right now. Um, so we're going to see how this runs on like somewhat older generation hardware. And if you're interested in playing on PC, the only way to get it right now is on the Epic Games Store. It's not on Steam. It's an Epic Games exclusive. I think, don't quote me on this, but I think their exclusives are like 12 months. So you won't be able to get it on Steam until like this time next year, uh, September-ish next year, October-ish. So if you want to play it on PC before that, you're going to have to get it through the Epic Games Store, otherwise you'll be playing on PlayStation. Um, and I guess the last, just one more quick thing. I'm going to try and keep these each part of the series to like 20 or 30 minutes, but we'll see how the gameplay goes. Um, see if that works. Okay, let's get into it. Uh, I guess you can't do Master Spirit Guide. Let's do... Let's do expert. I have a feeling this game is not super combat focused. So I think we'll be okay on expert. Unique wood masks are carved to honor the dead. Placed in sacred shrines, these masks gradually return to dust, symbolizing the spirit's peaceful journey into the next life. Not all spirits can travel this path alone. Struggling with tragedies of the past, they linger and become dangerous. Masters called upon to help these trapped and violent manifestations are known as spirit guides. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, if you hold it, it's like a bubble. Okay. We light up all these crystals. Cool. Ghost. Spirit. I guess. Hold on, let's just see what's over here real quick. Just more crystals to light up, I guess. Okay. 
keep following this guy. Oh, lots of them. Guess we're going. Oh, ooh, swimming. Cool. Very cool. Is this supposed to open open something? The door? Oh. Okay, yeah. Wasn't quite sure. It's over here. I don't think we can go that way. this guy. Why have you come? I sense suffering here, spirit. Do you need help? You know nothing of suffering. This is my home. My village. Turn back, spirit guide. Okay, left left click light attack, right click heavy. That's the light attack. Oh, let's try heavy. That's heavy. Okay, she's okay. Oh, it looks like you can string them together. Let's try. Yeah, cool. What is it? Oh, left control. Cool. Ooh, nice slow-mo end there. I think we got some mana points or something. Hold on, let me ch turn the game audio down a little bit. I think it's, that was pretty loud. So was that left left control to dodge? Um, let me whoops. Let me change that really quick. Aim. Oh, all right. I'll play with this later. Let's keep going. A shrine? Cool shrine thing, I guess. Oh, here's the door. Oh, we lit up half. Is there? Yeah, there's another one. Okay. Nice. Oh, gotta go to the middle. How do we, how do we run? Oh, how did I just do that? Oh, middle mouse wheel, I guess. Yeah, middle mouse wheel. Oh, cool. Yeah, this is super like Breath of the Wild. Very cool. I'm getting like 66, 67, 68 frames for anyone who's curious. Uh, hopefully you guys can read that overlay in the bottom left corner. Let's explore around here a little bit. Make those light up. OK. 
Okay, I don't, I don't think there's anything here. Who? Who are these guys? Little spirits? Q. <laughs> oh, these are the rot. <laughs> oh, bopped you on the nose. or something. Interesting. The Rot Wisp. Oh. Collect it. We'll tap. Okay. Search for more rot, okay. Pulse this. Oh, okay. Yep. Space for to jump. Again to double jump. Oh, cool. That's a pretty high double jump. Nice. Let's just climb up. Yeah, okay. You can climb up on like the white edges. Is that another one? Yes. Tap. Oh, bigger one. One out of five. Oh, so there's a bunch of them around here. Is he following me? Oh, yeah. Wait, come here. Oh, there he is. Okay. He's following me everywhere. Up here, maybe? Yep. Two out of five. Oh, let's go this way. Benny. That's one of their names. Tap. I like the little tap to get them to join you. Oh, press C to interact. Sneeze, dance, kiss, stand up. Sneeze? Do they do anything? Oh, there he goes. He's yawning. That was kiss? Oh, it's like a longer animation. Okay. Aww. 
Okay. Let's keep going. We have more to find. Keep running away and disappearing with a chest. Nice. Tap it open. One more. Um, this doesn't go anywhere. I feel like we need to go back here a little bit. Oop. No follow damage, that's good. Maybe not, maybe it is this way? Oh, cool. Okay, saved it. Is there one in here? Yeah. Tap. Join me. Join us. Oh. Level one. Rock and now perform what? Your team of companions has grown and you now have one rot action available. Press R to send the rot onto objects in the environment. Collect rot to level up and gain more rot actions. Okay. Press R, it said, right? So I think we have to deal with this, whatever this is. Corruption, poison, something. Oh, here we go, R. E to pulse and destroy the dead zone heart. That's what that is. Oh, nice. Cleared all of it. Oh, we were already there. Oh, go up here, okay. Where'd those little spirit guys go? What is, so what does it say on there? Leap, oh, and drop, okay. You could, you could make that jump on just one. Huh. No problem. Double jumps like crazy. Press towards the direction and jump. Up or across ledges? Well, we just have to go up, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ominous. Coming up on another fight here, I think. Yes. Oh, they're scared they've gone into hiding. But you guys are supposed to help me, right? Attack enemies to build courage in combat. Spend courage to perform rot actions. Okay, so we have to they have to build up their courage. Courage drops can form in the world. What is a courage? Oh, it's that little gold thing. Okay. Collect courage drop with your pulse or touch them. Okay. Oh, wait. Four? Yeah, four. Ooh. The rod are ready. Destroy the dead zone harder, blind enemies. Press R to quickly send your eye on the Okay. Left shift to aim. Then R to bind enemies. Let's okay. Look at him. 
Oh, they're all attacking that guy. Oh, they blind him. They just blind him. Okay. So we have to build up... Oh, it, okay, so it's this gold circle in the bottom left that we have to build up, I think. Yes. Okay, so then left shift and R, right? Are they doing their thing? Oh, I have to pulse it, probably. Yes, okay. Slow-mo. Got them all. Turn the game audio down just a touch more. Cool. The combat's, like, really smooth. It's awesome. Oh, do we have to... Do this too. Pulse it. Okay. Okay, you were just telling me where to go? Gotcha. Oh, there they are. Look at this, look at this lighting. This is awesome. Like mist, fog. They did a great job with this. This is so cool. Great looking. Just water. It's splashing around your feet. Oh, they swim in it. Look at them, they backstroke. That's hilarious. <laughs> They're adorable. Okay, a block. We're gonna move a block. The rock can move certain objects in the environment. Press R to have the rod pick up an object. Tell the rod where to go by aiming with left shift and then pressing R, okay. Aiming with left shift. Where do we want to go? Oh, probably right here. Oh, and then pressing R. Yes. So, is this the little one that's always on my shoulder? Yeah, he's like the... He's the ringleader here. The little guy is. I don't drop it on him. Oh, okay, he's up top. Release. Good job, guys. We're going up, I assume. Cool. Oh, what's this? Oh, pulse. Q. The tap. Tap everything. Ooh, gems. What do we use gems for? Crystals? I don't know. We'll find out what they're called. Use the rot. Can you pick that up? Yes, they can. Oh, pet him on the nose. Very nice. That's very kind little rot. Oh, they all stare at you. It's all slightly creepy, but they're ador they're adorable. So, where do we go? Back here somewhere? Mm, doesn't seem like it. Why'd we lift this up though? I don't think we like got crystals for that or anything. Oh, here we go. What's down there? Oh, some water or something? That little lantern gave us some crystals, I think. Okay, hang on, dude. Let me see. There's some stuff down here, I think. More crystals. Oh, use them on this. She's very polite to them. Can you move that for me? Move that. Oh, whoa, cool. I forgot about that. R. 
where are we bringing it? Here? Can't. Where do you guys want it? Here? No. Doesn't he usually go to where they, where he wants you to put it? I thought that's what he did. Somewhere in here. In the water? Hope, can you guys handle that in the water? Yeah, I guess so. Look at you go. Yeah. Release. No, that's not where he wants it. Uh, Alright, maybe we, I'm getting the feeling we weren't really supposed to move this. I mean, I gotta get back up here now, at least. Sorry guys, this first part's, uh, I think gonna be a longer, a little bit longer than 20 or 30 minutes. <laughs> Playing around here, trying to figure out the mechanics, and how these puzzles work. And all the cutscenes and stuff, you know, intro cutscenes. Hope you don't mind a little bit longer of a video. Alright, well let's let's just keep going over here. Huh. Oh, no problem. More corruption. Oh, this guy. Or this is a new guy. Let me help you. I can heal these spirits and restore balance to the forest. I know you are kind. You sense the power that flows through this land, but you do not fully understand it. Kana. Oh boy. We're on the hard we're on the hard difficulty too, remember. He, yeah, we uh yeah, shield. Oh, wrong time to do it. That works pretty good. Oh man. Parry enemy attacks if you activate it at the right moment. Oh. Oh, man. We messed that up, guys. I messed, I messed that up. We don't have to go through the cutscene again, do we? Yeah. We can skip it somehow, though. Let me yeah. help you. I can heal these. Okay. So we're supposed to time the shield. Oh, okay, yeah, if you get that right. Did not get it right that time. Or that time. Or that time.
There we go. I'm um, still not quite sure how the timing works there. Oh. He blasted through that. Oh, man. I didn't think the combat was going to be that bad, guys. Alright, come on. Third time's the charm, right? I think I'm overthinking this. Just gotta dodge him a little bit better. Let me help you. Alright. Do exactly what it says. Oh, that was a cool backflip. At the right moment. But when's the right moment? Not then. Okay, I see. My shield bar down there, the red one, is, is uh, depleted. Okay, now we got it back. There we go. I don't know what that... Oh, wow. Okay. Still not totally clear on what the right moment to parry is, but we'll figure that out. Use the rod. When he shows up, the girl's poison grows stronger. Hey, what are you doing here in the forest? I'm searching for the sacred mountain shrine. Can you take me there? If you want to get to the mountain shrine, you have to help us with something first. Our brother Tar was trapped deep in the forest. We need you to help him. Great idea, Saya. That'll be easy for her. Did you see what she did to that stick guy? Help us free Tarl and we'll take you to Mount Shrine. Alright, sounds like a deal. Our village is this way. Uh, so Saya and Benny, and she said her own name, Kana, so that's definitely... Her name is definitely Kana. And, uh... Saya and Benny, and then they called it Poison, not Corruption, so I'll try to get that right. Oh, look at this. looks so good guys all right i think that's a great place to end the first video um thank you guys so much for watching again like i said i'm just launching this channel and this is my first let's play series so if you watch the first one thank you so much for watching um, i hope you enjoyed and i hope you come back for the rest of the series um again i'm playing on pc and uh if you want to stick around to see what settings i'm using on pc just hold on one minute i'll show that to you in a second right after we end here. Okay, guys, thank you. I will see you in the next one. Okay, for anybody who is interested for the PC settings, I'll show you what I was running. That first one, I'm probably gonna make some adjustments um, as we go here, here, let's go back. So obviously full screen resolution, I guess I didn't pay attention to this, but it should be set on 1440p for me. I think it auto did that. 
DirectX 12, VSync off. That was default off. This is default DirectX 12. Motion blur on zero. Um, and then advanced settings. So I have the rot visible on all. I read that that's actually a pretty high impact. I think probably when we get more rot, that will matter more. So it was on all for that first video. Um, screen percentage, I think I think this is like your 3D resolution type setting. So I, you should just leave that on 100. I think unless we're struggling, but I think we're okay on frames. I have FPS set to 165 because I have a 165 hertz monitor. Um, the depth of field I had on motion blur, I, I did turn that on low before we started because I just, I typically don't personally like motion blur in any kind of RPG game. Um, and then I left everything else on high. So I, I think I kind of kept an eye on it. It looked like we were getting anywhere from like 55 to high 60s, like 67, 68 FPS, which is not bad. Um, I'm probably going to adjust some of these, uh, before I start the next video. So, and I'll do this at least one more time at the end of each part, just to show you guys what settings I was running. And I'll leave the MSI afterburner overlay up for at least the first few videos, just so you can get an idea. And again, all my um, PC specs will be in the comment, in the description below the video, um, in case you wanna compare to see if it's gonna work on your system. Okay, thank you guys for watching, bye.